y'all my name is Charmaine and if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome and if it's not your first time visiting welcome back today I'm going to do some packaging stickers I just completed an order and I was like oh I need to go ahead and do some packaging stickers tonight so I'm gonna do a video so what I'm gonna do with the package the package stickers, I'm going to put them on the outside. You can put them on the, um, you can close your package with it. You can put it on your bag. You can put it in, you can do whatever you want to do with them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my logo for my, um, for my sticker. Okay. So let's get this video started. This is how it's going to look. This is a white background. You can't see it because it's behind white. First thing what I'm going to do is this is, this is what it's going to, the outcome is going to look like, but I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm gonna go to upload. I already have my images right here under recently uploaded images, which is right here. This is my logo. And make sure your logo is PNG. It's a PNG with a transparent background. Well, if it's not, it, it, it would get to that other step to make sure your um, background was transparent. Now I'm gonna size it. I wanna make big um, packaging stickers and small ones because I have, the small ones can go for like my luggage tags, my jewelry that I make my mugs stuff like that and then the big ones can go for the clothing the shirts the book bags stuff like that that i design that i personally design for all my customers so let's check out my website it's charminggirlboutique.com so now we gotta go to shapes circle okay and then the first thing i'm gonna do is change the circle circle to white so i click on it click on that black square and go to white okay and i like that because there's a line around it like i can be able to see so I, was, I basically went to a range and sent to the front. And I'm just going to size this up to make it fit inside of there. Because after you weld it, that's when the, that black line disappears after you weld it. Okay, I'm going to make sure all my letters is inside of my circle because it's going to cut around the circle. Basically, we're doing a cut and print today for these stickers. But Cricut is I have this is my I'm sorry <laughs> with Cricut Design Space and I have a Mac computer. Sorry y'all, I'm all off. Getting... Okay, make sure she's straight. Yep, she's in there. So now what I'm gonna do is um, cover up with the cursor. I'm gonna highlight her and then I'm gonna flatten her because when every time you do a print and cut, you got to flatten. Okay, and, it's, and that's the same thing as sublimation. But today we're doing a print and cut. Okay, so now here's my circle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one because it's not the right size. I'm gonna make sure she's two, I think I'm gonna do a two by two for the small packages, two by two. Let me just put it in here. Okay. Oh, no, I don't like that. There, it wasn't circle enough. Let me put it up behind so I can be able to see. Let me go to shape, square. And y'all, I know it's a way I can make the background a different color. I straight forgot. I really forgot how to make the background a different color. I'm forgetting stuff on here. Arrange. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. I have to make sure it was a nice round circle and it's not. So get up some so this is gonna be my small one for my small items too it's good this is 2.8 by 2.16 so that'd be a good size for that so then i'm gonna duplicate it and make it bigger for my bigger packaging probably about a three mm. hmm that's cute let me see that's probably three inches let me get my tape to see how big three inches yeah three inches would be fine well almost three inches okay so 2.5 by 2.6 so that's cool i like that I'll make it three okay i'm gonna make this one three inches well 2.9 by 3.20 as i changed my mind that two is that two by two is a little bit too small i'm gonna go ahead and do it two and a half by two and a half okay and then I'm gonna make this one four by four. 
just too small for me. That's a good size right there. I just want to make sure it's a perfect circle because I can't see behind the white, so I'm going to make this square a little bit bigger. And I think I like that. I, I got it together, y'all. I'm sorry. I just like, this is my first time doing this, so I'm trying to play around to make sure I like it. So, y'all always going on, along on the ride with me. Like I said, this, my videos are never perfect. I'm showing you, I'll show y'all my goofs up, my mess ups. So, y'all don't make the same mistakes I make. And sometimes I be trying to rush to get through with the video because I don't want to be too long. But... That's why I be messing up so much. Okay. So I like that. Put my packaging. Um, I'm going to delete this. Then I'm going to go ahead and probably going to do a sheet of these first. And then a sheet of these second. So I'm going to go ahead and push the eye up here so I can delete it off the page. But I'm going to come back to it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the eye right here. Take that one off. Then what I need to do is make sure I just duplicate. See how many can fit. So I just push duplicate about one, two, three, about five times. So I'm going to put it right here. We're going to do, we're going to use the um, paper eight by 11, eight and a half by 11. I'm sorry. Make sure it don't overlap, but Cricut will show you if you overlap, they'll fix it. Yeah, this is pretty big. If I would have made them smaller, I would have got more on the page, but I think I want these big ones for my shirts and stuff. But we'll see. If I look at them, if they're too big, I'll go down. Y'all, this can change. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty big, almost four inches. But those are, they, they, they gonna stand out. When the customer get my packages, they gonna see it. <laughs> and you can also put these in your little thank you cards that you, um when, you, when somebody purchase something from you, you can put, a, put this, your sticker, a logo, and a, and a thank you card for them. I think that's all it's gonna fit on here, I think. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's go to make it. Let's see, it's gonna all fit on one page. Nope, they're huge. These are three sheets of paper, y'all. So I ain't gonna make them that big. That's just too, that's just too big. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm gonna delete. I just don't. They don't gotta be that big. That's too much paper wasted. <laughs> Trying to we gotta save money, y'all. We gotta save the money. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make it smaller before I duplicate them. I'm just go down to 3.3. Point nine seven by three point two seven two, and I might not make the other size, y'all. So it's still gonna be. It's gotta come over a little bit more. So I'm working. Y'all working with me, y'all. Y'all working with me. This is what we do. This is what I do. I bring y'all along. Please, if you like the content of this video, please subscribe. Thank you for all my subscribers and all the people that like my videos. I appreciate you. Let me know what you want to see. I will get it out for you. Sorry, this white background is like hard for me to see. So at least I'm getting more than... Huh, I hope that's not overlapping. So I probably can get six on here. Let's see if I can... I'm not going to be able to get another one. Right, so let's make it and see. <sighs> nope. Okay. That's fine. Oh, okay. So I got four on there. So let me get two more somewhere. Yeah, I'm tired. But I wanted to get this video out because, like I said, I'm getting this package. Um, but this, I'm going to send it out tomorrow morning. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and do this video real quick. And it's going to be a quick video. So let me go ahead and put it on for my, for my peeps. Y'all been rocking with me since july that's how long i've been on youtube and i also have a facebook page i also have a facebook group called brown girls craft with cricket so please please go check us out the only thing i ask is you answer the questions so i can approve you into the group if you don't answer the questions i won't be able to approve you so a simple question just let me know that you abide by the rules I'm going to be nice to my, my sisters <laughs> and share work and, and just make sure we work together and participate on the on the um, page. Y'all, I don't know. I'll just 
Let me see, put it over here and see if that works. I'm just trying to be cheap and save paper, y'all. I couldn't bend print this stuff out. <laughs> I was, but I'm still talking, so it's gonna have to work. Okay. I did it. I just had it the wrong way, y'all. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. We got two sheets. We got this sheet right here. Then we got this sheet right here. And we don't have to mirror it because this these are stickers. We're not putting no heat on them. So we're just gonna hit and get my printer together, my printer cord. Put these out on your regular printer. Yeah, my printer is the HP Desk Jets 2635, a little cheap printer that I got from Walmart. And the last time I did, when I did my stickers with my little girls, my, my ladies on there, I showed y'all I got a video on there. If you want to see that, that, you can go on my page and find that video, or I can link it below. I use this printable sticker paper that I got from Michaels, okay? I really didn't like it. It was okay, but, um, I'm, I just I bought some more from Amazon, so I'm gonna check that out. I guess this is called oh the Paper Studio. And it's, it was like it'd be right there around in the Cricut section. I thought it was Cricut paper, but it's not. But it's it's over there by the um Cricut and everything like that. So I got this paper this time. Like I said, I got it from Walmart. I mean, I got it from Amazon. I'm sorry if I said Walmart. I got it from Amazon. Glossy fill. I mean, glossy full sheet adhesive paper. Okay. So we're gonna check this out. I've seen it on somebody else's page. They said it was good. So I'm about to print these out. First, I have to let me go ahead and show y'all real quick. I don't have to mirror it, so I continue. And then I'm gonna first send it to the yeah, printer. So I can print it out, and then I gotta come back and send it to the through the Cricut so we can cut it out. Okay. I forgot that cutting step. So first you gotta go to your print your um your regular inkjet printer, which is not that one, it's this one. That's my sublimation printer. Okay, now I got it on the right printer. Take the bleed off. And then I had to print that. Then I come back and I gotta cut it. So I bring I come back after I finish printing it out. Then I gotta send it to the cricket. I wanna show you that real quick. Ooh. There it is. Set over here so it can dry because it was kind of wet. Ah! It is wet. See, look at that. This paper is really glossy and it's wet. So hopefully the cut right because i'm not doing it over <laughs> okay so now it says okay now that we have the paper printed out i went ahead and put it on my mat so this is how it looks on my mat sorry so i can cut it the cricket so now that we already sent it to the printer now it's time to send it to cricket and i'm gonna go ahead and find my cricket select it and then we got to figure out what paper. We're gonna, last time I used the Cricut paper and it's kind of thick and I used, um, I put it on the setting cardstock. This is, this paper right here is kind of thin. So I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna do cardstock for this one. But let's see if they have a, um, a sticker paper in right here. They do have a sticker paper in right here. Hmm. So I'm just gonna say the clear printable sticker paper. Cause it is, it's, I mean, it's not clear, but it's thin. So hopefully this will work. We'll see if not, we can try again, but I don't want to use car stock cause it's very, very, very thin. It's like regular sheet of paper. I should just use the regular sheet of paper. That's how thin it is cause it's so glossy. But we will check and see. But yeah, Cricut's paper is really thick. I really didn't like, I mean, I liked it. It was, it was real sturdy, but it's so thick. So, alrighty, let's see. How this is gonna work, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and push done. I'm gonna go ahead and load my mat and I'll be back. I hope this cuts right because like I said, this ink is very, very, very look at that. Up there, ink how it is, it's just I won't be able to catch it. Because the ink is just being really glossy and it's just not dry. I'm gonna sit for a little while. This paper might not be good. We'll see. We will see. Oh, let's do it now. I'm gonna go ahead and get my shirt ready to get packaged. I'm gonna show you how I package up my, my items. So um take them to the post office. Okay, I'm back. 
And here's my stickers. It worked. I thought it was going to mess up because of that ink was um, a little smudged. But it worked, guys. Um, this is the second sheet. This is the first sheet right here. I, I took them off already. Those are beautiful. I love them. I love them. And they did. Oh, they still smearing a little bit. So I'm going to stop touching on them. But I love them. Those are cute. So now you know how to make your own packaging stickers with your, leg, your logo. Let's, let me show you how I'm just take this off. I just bend this paper back. Pull it. And see how this, this just stays on the um, mat. Sometimes it come off, but sometimes it don't. So, here's your stickers. Throw that excess away. And I use my, I just bend it back a little bit. Sorry. It should pop right up. You know, we need the same thing. Bend it back. Pop it on up. Oh, I love them. Last two. I use this as the camera right here. To get up with this. So I'm gonna move it. You just you don't really have to have a sticky mat for this either because you don't want them to stick too tight to the mat. Okay, what I do is I use tissue paper for my um shirts. Let me show you how I wrap it up. I'm gonna put it in the bags. This shirt, sublimation, and I also did she also also wanted she want ordered two luggage tags to match your shirt, and y'all made the same shirt for myself, and I um made me a luggage tag too, and I went to the airport I went out of town last week, and why they steal my luggage tag off my my luggage? I'm like, mm mm mm, let me another one. <laughs> yep, somebody stole it. Yep. I didn't need two pieces of paper. But then I use regular tape just to keep the edges closed. And then I fold this back this way. present that's how I usually do it I don't know why I did that way I told y'all I'd be rushing and I'm doing videos but it's not right oh I'm supposed to do it like this that's a present tape it and then Put my sticker right on top, right in the middle. So when you open it, they'll see it. And like I said, you can also put them on bags. Let's see, it's gonna be it's kind of tough to get the sticker off here, but I'm gonna use my little cricket remover thing. You gotta get a tip of it. Pull it back, I guess. Just get the back and just scrape it a little bit, little pointy part. These things is hard to get off. Especially if you have nails. Dog on it. I ripped it. It's so thin and flimsy. But it's going to work. It's going to work today, y'all. Okay, there it is. Okay. A little tear. She ain't not going to notice. But that's pretty. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Cute. I like it. Y'all like it? Okay. Let's not do that. Let me tell you. Oh, let me put these in this little bag. I got these. And I got a little leopard bag I can put them in. And what I did, y'all, I bought some cotton numbers and some envelopes from Amazon and I got the wrong color. Because of brand new business. And my colors are purple and gold. And I got blue. But it's gonna work until I run, until I um use them all because I'm not about to buy no more until those are gone. It's a lot of them too, y'all. Let me try to do this again with this without tearing it this time. There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with this bag. My little logo on there so they can remember who I am. Look, 
Probably just gonna fold the bag back. Sorry, my fan is on. And just put the sticker right there to close the bag up. Not flat surface, that's why it looks like it's wrinkled because the little um patchwork band is in there. Okay, so here's my shirt, here's her bag. Again, I'm gonna put it right here in my poly mother. The wrong color, but nice and smooth there. Then I seal it up. I'm gonna get her a thank you card and also put her a promotion um card inside of there. Got these little cards from um Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna put that in there with an envelope and just tell her thank you for shopping with me. And her next um her next if she um shop with me again, she get some um a discount. So I'm gonna do that. And that's how I package up my stuff, y'all. I think that's all for this video. Comment, please like, share my videos, and don't forget, come and um join our group. Brown Girls Craft Cricket, and check out my website. I personalize all my items for my clients. This is charminggalboutique.com. Thanks for watching.